Yo guys, so in this video we're gonna try and you know do a little bit of porting and polishing on this head here or not head the cylinder wall whatever because if you watch the other video because you know you'll be riding down the road you know cruising speed then you want to go up the full throttle you're like one and you know it is really annoying because when I want to go fast I want to go fast you know I want to go slow and you know I tried taking off the air filter and you know it did a little bit better but it didn't really do as much of a difference i think it's running a little bit too rich i'm starting to run 40 to 1 now after watching a couple of videos but we did do a little bit of porting and polishing on this head here uh, it's a stage 3 slash 4 predator 212 uh racing go-kart here now things i kind of already have done i did uh clean the head off of all the carbon and stuff I did kind of clean a little bit off the exhaust pipe here. This exhaust gasket is leaking a ton, so I'm going to have to get a new one of those. Uh, I did kind of clean up the carburetor a little bit. And yeah, it did run a little bit better, but I think actually cleaning the trash out in here, it is actually going to make it run way better. Well, it should anyway. So without further ado, let's strip this thing down. So I finally got the cylinder head off and got that little thing taken off. And what I did was, was that I used the Traxxas Top Fuel Fuel Fill or whatever. And I just siphoned all the fuel out of there. And I just put it in this can here. But if you look on the cylinder head, or in the cylinder head, let me hold up to the light. You can see some of the trash that's in there. Let me go on the exhaust port. I can flip it over one hand. But yeah, you see all that trash and stuff in there? I'll try to smooth that stuff out so that way we can get a better flow. And plus the transports, we can easily smooth that part out. What are you doing? I'm trying to record. Where's the dang sandpaper at? <laughs> what happened? I dropped the uh, Willow. Okay. How's where's Willow at? Okay. All right, so in order to clean this thing really good, I'm going to uh, pour some of the gas on it. Nickel a little bit of gas over here. A little bit on this microfiber towel. That looks beautiful. By the way, this is the Toyan FS100 compared to this. Here it is compared next to the cylinder. All right, so now I'm gonna put all this stuff back together. Uh, I'm not gonna bother recording it because it is a complete reverse procedure. All right, so y'all, I got this thing uh, back together, finally. Uh, I left the air filter off the carburetor. Uh, the worst thing was, was it trying to get the cylinder 
onto the piston and trying to compress the piston rings. Uh, I was a bit, you know, mad with that, but you know, I got that on there. This bolt here on the exhaust was kind of aggravating. I know you can't see anything, but it's the far bolt over here. And you have to like align it a certain way in order for it to screw on. Uh, you know, cleaned it up a little bit and it spins over good now. So hopefully it'll run good. I also torqued the head bolts to 10 foot pounds. And by the way, y'all, me doing this, uh, you just saw like little bits and pieces of doing it. Like I was doing a lot of it and I stopped, recorded a couple, recorded a little bit of it, whatever, and then carried on back again. It did take a lot longer to do that. Cause you know, I can't sit here and make a three hour long video cause otherwise nobody's gonna watch it. All right, so let's put some fuel in here. By the way, this isn't the fuel I actually run. I do actually mix the gas on my, yeah, on my own. By the way, in here, with all of our, you know, fuel stuff. This is the oil I run in it. It's just some generic Ace Hardware oil. I just mix it in this container here. 